All right, with this bitter cold stretch of weather, warming up with a bowl of soup sounds even better than ever. And there's another good reason to heat up some soup in January. It happens to be National Soup Month. So we're joined by Eric Ursher, who is the founder and CEO of Zoop, and Christina Tricapelli, uh, franchise marketing manager. They're here to share two popular uh, recipes with us. So maybe, you know, on these cold days, and Kevin said it's going to be really cold again this weekend, maybe you at home can uh, think about making a soup or just run on over to Zoop. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So, uh, Christina, what are we making? We're going to make a rotisserie chicken noodle soup. All Very right. easy, delicious. You can make it at home. So what are you doing? Let's uh, jump in. Yeah, so. we're going to start off with a nice hot pan with a little bit of olive oil in there. We're going to start with our mirepoix, which is your onions, and then carrots and celery. Okay. Bring this is the base for a lot of dishes, so lots of people of are soup. familiar with this. Just yeah. dice it up and um, Soft it in. saute. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to saute uh, for a couple minutes until they get a little translucent, nice and soft. Uh, today we're going to do a little quicker. Um, okay. Next step, once it sautés for a few minutes, we're going to add our good, really good um, chicken bone broth. So we're going to pour right. that in here. Now, we were just talking about this. Eric, what is it about bone broth? Because you're, you're hearing more and more about it. First, what is it and why is it so popular now? Yeah. So there are a lot of uh, attributes in bone broth that people are really attracted to. Collagen, protein. In our case, our broth is the first broth good enough to drink. And after 20 years of being in the soup business, we've learned a lot. And one of the things that we learned about six years ago was the broth that was available on grocery store shelves simply was not good enough to drink. So we set out to create one that oh, is. You have a glass of it. I see. To drink. He's sipping on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, man, I, on a, you on told a, me on that a day like this. Is there another glass? We're just teasing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll, they were we'll, just we got teasing. You. We'll take care of you. Okay. Um, so we have the bone broth, good enough to sip on. You just poured the bone broth in with the uh, mirepoix. And so what's the next step, Christina? So we're going to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients right. here, which we made it super simple, and we used a rotisserie chicken. Right. So it's already cooked. Nice makes and it accessible. Yep. A great uh, meal for a weeknight because you can just stop off, pick up the rotisserie chicken, and then move on. Absolutely. Quick and easy. So we're going to add the rotisserie chicken. We've got some egg noodles here. Got to have the noodles. And then we're going to be adding some peas, add a okay. little color, and some dill. Okay. Which is going to add that nice uh, pop of color, in addition, and, um, a nice flavor and aroma. You can kind of smell that dill right now. So how long does a dish like this take? Because we were just talking about it being great for a weeknight. Oh, so quick. I mean, the preparation's pretty minimal, and then you're just going to let it simmer for maybe 20 minutes, and you're good to go. Right. Well, your family doesn't have to know that you didn't labor for hours. <laughs> right. And they won't. But you know, one pot meals are really popular and this is a one pot meal, uh, but it doesn't have to taste like it's a one pot meal. Absolutely. All right, so you're adding in a little, a little salt, salt and pepper peppered. to taste. Yeah. And then you guys have another uh, option there. So we have this um, soup. The finished product The here. finished product. Grab that bowl oh, great, a, a bowl, yeah. Have a we'll love it. And, and also, Keenan, here, we have a gift for you. Cool. All right. There enjoy. we go. Thank you. No caffeine, but nope. <laughs> you'll enjoy it this morning. All right. And uh, Eric, what, what else do you have down there? Uh, we have a uh, one of our new uh, bowls. So this isn't exactly like we're going to be serving at the restaurant. One of the things that we are really excited about is we are rebranding from Zoop Fresh Soup Company to Zoop Eatery. And over the next year, after a lot of planning, we're gonna be adding additional menu items and it's gonna include a bowls category, we have organic craft beverages, and so, as consumers' preferences change, so does Zoop. All right, and that is great to hear. So it's going to be a new Zoop, so even if you're familiar with them, you'll wanna go check them out. You can see there's Zoop locations right there, four of them, Northville, Ann Arbor, Novi, and uh, another one in Novi, so they're keeping you covered there in Novi. Christina and Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you can go ahead and keep going. So you guys are doing sort of a, a spicy Korean bowl. Yeah, so, we got great. the same uh, rotisserie chicken, some peas, some ancient grains, and some broth on top of it. Super clean and easy. And it's great for a nice morning like this when Kevin has a bitterly cold forecast.